fairy tales tell us there's gold at the foot of every rainbow. This is no fairy tale, but there is gold at the end of this rainbow. Gold on the waters of Lake Waikari Moana, one of New Zealand's most beautiful lakes. A sea of rippling waters which is the picturesque meaning of the Maori name, Waikari Moana. Lake Waikari Moana lies in the heart of the Dominion's North Island. To reach it, a scenic drive takes us through rugged bushlands. As we climb towards the lake, we get our first glimpse here of its rippling waters. The scenic drive runs halfway round the lake, which lies some 2,000 feet above sea level. A magnificent star-shaped gem in a massive setting of wooded hills and rugged peaks. On one side, high above the lake, is journey's end for the traveller, Lake House, a comfortable hotel which offers the best of facilities. All the year round, buses and cars bring tourists from all over the world to relax and revel in this lakeland beauty spot. Even a stroll on the lawn opens up scenes of unspoiled beauty. But if you're feeling energetic, there are lookout points to climb. Wherever you pause to rest, outside or even inside this hotel, you're never far away from scenes that make Waikari Moana one of the loveliest of New Zealand's many lakes. For travellers, there's plenty to talk about in remembering the views on the scenic drive that has brought them here. Dew drops glitter in the light of a new day and glisten on the silver fern, emblem of New Zealand. Fishermen are away early. Through November to May, both brown and rainbow trout can be caught around the shores and in the streams that feed the lake. This area is a game sanctuary where pigeons and native birds of all kinds flourish. For the traveller, there are launches waiting to explore the bays and inlets that make up the beauty of Waikari Moana. The waters are today harnessed into a hydroelectric scheme that supplies the power for factories and farms. But the traveller comes here to forget the hustle of work and the bustle of cities. Before us towers Panakiri Bluff, an imposing cliff rising nearly 2,000 feet from the water's edge. Its bush-crowded summit makes it the most striking landmark of the region. Waikari Moana is one of the few places in New Zealand where you can still see the unchanged tropical abundance of our native forest. Unchanged since the days when Maori warriors in their tribal wars used it as cover in attacking their enemies. Today, there are no warlike incidents to excite the traveller, only the beauty of the lake or the takeoff of a black swan. Black swans are not native to New Zealand. They're game birds brought across the Tasman Sea from Australia. But we leave the lake to visit the Aniwa Niwa Falls, one of the tumbling cascades that adds its sparkle to the waters of Waikari Moana.
In the stream below the falls, we meet more fishermen. There's many a day's sport here where rising trout flash in the sunlight. There's many a bag of fish too that lives up to the best of fishing stories. The forest edging the lake is untouched beauty and there are many easy walks through the tangle of the trees. This way takes us to a smaller lake, 500 feet above Waikari Moana. The forest path runs gently down to the water's edge, making it easy going for those who wish to invade the calm silence of Lake Waikari Iti, which means little sparkling waters. This is a quiet lake of unspoiled natural beauty. Here the forest shades the lake and trails in the placid waters. day ends and the sun goes down behind the ranges, the fishermen return. For the traveller, there's the memory of the rippling waters of New Zealand's Waikari Moana.